Hey guys, today we're going to learn about beetles. And this is bazillions of beetles. Beetles make up the biggest group of insects. Almost half of all insect species are beetles. And I know you guys are very familiar with one of the beetles that we see. So let's see what we're going to find. It says there may be millions of beetle species. There are 400,000 kinds, which is 400 thousand cubes. That's a lot. Scientists have found and named 400,000 kinds of beetles, but there may be millions that they haven't found yet. Most beetles have two pairs of wings. The front pair of wings is called the elytra. The elytra are like a shell. They protect the rest of the beetle's body, including its other pair of wings. Most other insects do not have this protection. Scientists call beetles coleoptera. Can you say that? It's kind of hard. Coleoptera, which means wings with sheaths. Sheaths are like a protective armor, hard coverings that protect those very, very fragile wings used for flying underneath. Beetles live everywhere except in the ocean and around the North and South Poles. So in this picture here, you see this beetle flying and those top things that look like eyelashes almost, that's their antenna. It's kind of a different antenna, but what do we say antenna are used for? That's right, they're feelers. They can use them to feel around them what's there. Now, underneath that is the head, and you can see the eyes on the head. And this uh, orange um, wing behind the arms, that's the elytron. That orange color, that's the shell, that's that protective shell. And these long wings out to the side, those are the fragile wings that are folded underneath. The middle part of the beetle's body is called the thorax, and the bottom is called the abdomen. And their feet, it's not mentioned here, are called tarsi. So this is the beetle I know you guys are very familiar with, and we look for them on our playground all the time. This is the seven-spotted ladybug. Ladybugs are beetles. Farmers like seven spotted ladybugs because they eat aphids. Aphids are insects that eat crops that plants. <laughs> aphids are insects that eat crops, the plants that farmers grow. I've actually ordered some ladybugs and praying mantis that will be here um, either at the end of this week or beginning of next week, and we can watch the praying mantis hatch from their eggs and we can um, release the ladybugs. I could do like a live event, maybe we'll have to see, but. I'm really excited to show you guys that. A ladybug lays her eggs near aphids or other plant-eating insects. When the larvae hatch, they start eating the aphids around them. When attacked by a predator, such as a bird, a ladybug releases a liquid that tastes bad. The next time that bird goes after a ladybug, the insect's bright color is a reminder, leave me alone, I taste bad. So we think that a ladybug is peeing on us when we hold it, but it's actually that liquid. They're saying, please don't eat me. I don't taste good. Um, ladybugs are also called lady beetles and ladybirds. Isn't that kind of silly? So this red circle over here that has a ladybug in it that looks like it's eating something, that is a little aphid and the ladybug is eating it. And remember we said the aphids are bad for the garden. Now over here in this other tiny red circle, those are larvae. Those are ladybug larvae, like little ladybug babies. And they don't look like ladybugs right now, but they will grow up to look like ladybugs later. It says that they live in deserts, grasslands, forests, marshes in Europe, Asia, and North America. And they eat other insects and pollen. They lay 10 to 50 eggs at a time. They have to watch out for birds, smiter, spiders, and small mammals. And they're really, really small. So I hope you guys liked learning about these beetles with me, and I hope you enjoy your coloring page. There are a few of our vocab words on there, as well as mention of the elytra and what its purpose is. So I can't wait to see how you guys color them, and